morning, my dear friends, and special good morning uh, who is watching my YouTube channel. Um, this is Sam Babu. <coughs> uh, I studied I mean, in this, and uh, I have been working in Chatina High School, actually. Um, now I'm going to teach you that English grammar, uh, who is, uh, this is for the uh, replies who is preparing for the competitive level exams and who is prepared the temper students also. It was very, very useful to gain good marks from the English grammar. My dear friends, already I told you defining on uh, defining relative class in my uh, previous uh, video and in this video I'm going to teach you non-defining relative class non-defining relative class in my previous video I told what is that defining relative class and what is the relative class and what is the antecedent um, what is the antecedent in previous life and preceding in, uh, in time or I think that uh, LK started before Plus class, that is a relative class. The relative class means the class which qualifies a noun, a pronoun, a noun phrase, that is, we are calling that relative class. Already I told you in that the previous video defining relative class. And in this video, I'm going to teach you now defining the relative class. The relative class, the two types, first one is defining relative class, and second one is non defining relative class. In this video, non defining relative class. What is that non defining relative class? What is that? What is that? The class which is not necessary to define its antecedent. My dear friends, did you understand? What is non defining relative class? The class which is not defining which is not defining defining its which, not, which is not necessary to define its antecedent that is we are calling the non-defining relative class then what is that uh, uh, defining relative class uh, the, the class which is necessary to define the class which is necessary to define that is defined relative class a non defined relative class, the class which is not necessary to define its antecedent, that is, we are calling non defining relative class. But in this non defined relative class, one more three points we have that is that this class must have commas. In this sentence, in this sentence, we have a commas. The non defined relative class must have a Thomas and third point, we are giving extra information for the sentence. We are giving extra information that is in the, that is the possible to non-defining relative class. But defined relative class, we don't have any commas, we don't want to give any extra information in that defined relative class. But non-defined relative class, we are giving extra information. And in this sentence, we have a commas, and which is uh, the class which is not necessary to define its antecedent. Already, I told you that in my previous video, define the relative class. What is the antecedent? Previous slide, we said in the uh, in time, or I think that it is said uh, before, it, it's explaining very clearly with now pronoun, a noun place plus class that is we are calling. Antecedent. Okay, my dear friends, shall we go for uh, explain for example? Friends, in the defining relative class, the defining relative class sentence it is not give particularly information. Okay, I told you in the previous video. But here, non defined relative class, what is there? Particularly, he has to mention, particularly I have to mention, that is, for example, he who helped you has come today. Who helped you has come today. Who is that? Who helped you? Who helping? Oh, Giri. Who is that? Giri. Here, he has to show particularly. 
physically who is a giri so this is the arm stretch this is the arm stretch particularly he has to mention mention particular when we have a particular no about that sentence that is we are calling non deformative but already from the government was starting and this take a rates was plus class that is i in my previous video i told you know antecedent the rates was plus class that is defined relative class when we, when he has not uh, mentioned particularly but in this video antecedent plus class when we know particularly about a person that is we are calling a uh, non defined relative class see what is the this is the this is the non defined relative class why because here he has mentioned particularly giri who help me giri particularly that's why this we are calling non defined relative class and second one sreeno who is watching the tv is my brother sreeno who is watching my tv is my brother my dear friend here who is watching sreeno who is watching who is watching sreeno sreeno watching the tv that is the sentence no that is the sentence sreeno who is watching the tv is my brother who is the brother sreeno he is my brother he has to watch the tv so here he has to mention particularly so that's why this is also we are calling non defining relative class non defining relative class my dear friends it was very very easy to understand in a different relative class uh, one does not know particularly the person when does not know the particular antecedent that is we are calling a uh, different relative class and then when no particularly when we know particularly antecedent that is we are calling a uh, non defining relative class it was very very easy to understand and to get the good marks and what about my father who he is a english teacher here my dear friend You are also giri, comma, already. I told you from the beginning. In in the non-defining relative class, we have commas and we have extra information. Giri, comma, who helped you has come today. This is the extra information. And second one also, Srinu, comma, and who is watching the TV is my brother. This is the extra. Information and in this sentence we have a commas must have a commas non defined relative class and my father comma who is English teacher comma he is my best in this sentence also we have a commas and we have given extra information that is we are calling here possessive adjective plus relative class in this sentence we have a possessive adjective my father my means possessive already i told in my previous videos my our your is er they that is we are calling possessive sentences possessive words so possessive adjectives so when we have in this sentence possessive adjective plus relative class this is also we are calling non defining non defining relative class non defined relative class when we have a possessive adjective plus relative class that is also we are calling non defining relative class possessive means my our uh, you verb is have they and next demonstrative adjective plus relative class also uh, we are calling non defined relative class Demi demonstrative adjective for what this that those these that is we are calling demonstrative adjective plus relative class when we have it in the sentence demonstrative adjective plus class that is compulsory we are going to find non defining relative class for example this street where it lay is very rough this here in this sentence we have a 
demonstrated adjective. You have this street. This street means demonstrated adjectives. We know the pattern of the demonstrated adjective plus element plus. That is also we are calling non undefining relative. Non undefined relative plus. My dear friends, it was very very important. Possessive adjective plus uh, a relative class immediately we are uh, identified non defined relative class and demonstrative adjective plus relative class it is also we are calling non defining relative class and then my dear friend I want to give one uh, uh, extra information for non defining relative class what is that sum Some many, some many, few several, few several, and all and any. In these words, in these words, plus. Plus who are which? Who are which? When we have this type of words we have in the sentence, that is also uh, we are calling that uh, non defining relative class. For example, For example, the books <coughs> the books are some of some of which are so Are found again here. The books, comma, the books, comma, some of which are sold, comma, are found again here. My dear friends, here in this sentence. In this sentence, we have a sum, when we have a sum, many, few, several, or any, plus, or plus, who, or which. When we have a, this type of words in the sentence, that is, we are calling also non defining relative class. What is that? How we are identifying sum of, sum of, sum of plus which. Sum of plus which this is also this type of sentence also we are calling non-defining non-defining relative class. So likewise, my dear friends, and then and, and also both both most no uh, sorry none and uh, must much plus half plus. Um, who are which? This type of sentences also, when we have a in, in this type of uh, words, when we have the sentence, that is, we are called also non defining relative class. It was also very, very important. Some, many, few, several, or any, plus, of, plus, who, which. This type of words, and then uh, uh, both uh, must, none, and uh, must, much. This type of uh, plus, of plus, uh, whom, oblique, which, whom, are which, this type of when we have a, the sentence that is also we are calling non-defining relative class. It was very very easy to understand that non-defining relative class. Only friends, uh, defined relative class, uh, 
we uh, do not know the particularly the person the particularly at this day that is we call different relative class in the non different relative class we know particularly that is our that is uh, we know particularly at this day that is we are calling non defining relative class it was very very easy to understand and identify uh, what is a defined relative class and what is a non defined relative, relative class see my dear friends uh, see uh, watch at your home um, every day and one or two times it was very very easy to understand this defined relative class and non defined relative class easy to uh, to get a good marks in your uh, the competitive level exams thank you very much my dear friend and uh, uh, tomorrow uh, we'll meet again with the next topic thanks for watching my youtube channel